Happy New Year! <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the channel of uh, pushing motorbikes around on petrol station forecourts because you're meeting friends, not those, friends for the first ride of the year and uh, you spotted a nail in your tyre. But I don't think it's a disaster, he says, on his hands and knees because, uh, yeah, it's there, can you see it? Mmm. Can't tell if you can see that lovely chunk of metal, it's massive. However, the rear tyre hasn't gone flat. It's lost 5 psi in uh, 3 weeks, so I'm hoping I can pump it up and chance it, unless pumping it up ejects that like a claymore mine and kills that bloke in a tweed jacket on a tiger. Hopefully it won't. Right, I've got to go to Rikers to meet some people I've never ridden with. They're car journalists who like motorbikes. So that's going to be fun. One of them's Adam, who I did my big European tour with. Uh, he's borrowed a Tiger 1200. <laughs> I'm taking my KTM. So I shall see you there. Yeah. Unless I don't. In which case, I'll be at the side of the road. Look, there's Adam, everyone. Hey, he's not on a Daytona. There's Tom. He's on a thing. There's Jack. He's on a Royal Enfield, right? What's that? That uh, is quite small, but then my bike is uh, massively compensating. Remember to rev bomb. Right, let's uh, get my tyre pressures up. Uh, they're good. We are heading to Goodwood. We had to wait a little while because Jack nearly ran out of fuel on the way here, but we're going to hit some twisty roads. It's quite busy. Lots of bikers out for the first dry day of 2023. Uh, I'm going to keep my tyre pressures up on my screen because I don't really want to get stranded miles from home without any air in my rear ballon. So yeah, just going to be taking it a little bit easy, being a little bit circumspect. This is quite flooded. Look at this. You've not, sorry, I've not filmed much riding because it's been quite a lot of 40 stuff. It's not, it's not been that thrilling for YouTube, but look at this. The Lord's water at work. The Lord has micturated into that. I think a GoPro fell off my bike here once on a BMW launch just around this corner. Anyway, we're nearly at Goodwood. New Range Rover, delightful. Um, and you've not really missed an awful lot, to be honest. I'll probably do more vlogging on the way home. Uh, so yeah, boring, bye. Right, leaving Goodwood. It is horrible and wet. Oh, I need fuel. Fuck. Oh, look at this. The beautiful Sussex Downs. I think it's Sussex. Sussex Downs. These are the hills near Goodwood. Some really nice roads. Obviously, they are super damp at the moment, but it's quite nice being on an adventure bike. I always feel like I can just tank along at 60 in, uh, in safety. Uh, but yeah, one thing I want to talk about was not the riding today. I want to talk about uh, going to the cinema last week, as I'm sure loads of you have seen, the 44 Teeth channel, they booked a load of cinemas out and um, showed off their latest budget bike battle video, which was, I'm not going to spoil it, but it was really funny. I think it helped that I was in a cinema full of uh, similarly minded people watching it. But it was just absolutely corking and it just made me think, ah, oh, it's nice, all these people actually part of a community we sit there in our pants watching youtube on tv with some digestive biscuits to stave off our masturbatory urges but actually we're all bikers and you can fill a cinema with us and we'll really like it so yeah it's not out on youtube yet it is coming out soon a slightly more censored version than what i saw um i think i can probably spoil the ending because you won't get to see that on youtube was a slow motion shot of alastair fagan doing a liquid poo at the side of the road which i'm pretty sure is going to be a career highlight for him but yeah it's very very funny very good nice to finally meet uh, mr baron von grumble had a little chat we talk on instagram a fair bit but it's just nice to meet him in person like do we talk about stuff maybe plan some things together for the rest of the year but yeah if you haven't subscribed to 44 teeth i'm sure you probably have if you're watching this do go and look at it it's pure all it's brilliant it doesn't take itself very seriously and the roads have dried out yay naughty naughty so yeah i'm just heading home now um the fun way but my pin lock is completely steamed up i need to get a new one what is it about pin locks and i th only lasting about a year i think it's because they absorb water but yeah this one is uh knackered on the left eye it just looks like i've got cataracts 
or I've taken that really thin bit of see-through skin you get on the inside of a cat just before you get to the flesh and it looks like I'm using that as goggles so yeah not ideal but there's some nice roads might get the 360 camera out in a bit or I might not Oh, you can't hear me so I've opened my visor but I can't see oh this is not a great vlogging setup I can either see or talk to internet strangers and I'd kind of rather I'd rather see don't take it personally but I quite fancy getting home and not being dead I think that's what Rosper says I think you get your Rosper gold if you can say I don't want to die on a motorbike yeah lovely views there's a really posh boarding school down there that someone used to work with the drive tribe went to um, I heard lots of horrible stories about things that happened there. Young people at a boarding school with money and drugs. You can probably imagine. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and I'll see you in a bit. Or maybe not. Maybe you will. Maybe you won't. Hopefully, we're all still alive by the end of the video. Yep, cyclist. Right, well that was a weird video, slightly short, sorry, but um, yeah, I think what we have ascertained on this video, on this little ride out, is that if you find a big lump of metal stuck in your rear tyre, don't despair, don't despair, just pump it up, ride quite fast to get the tyre warm and it stays sealed, look, I've actually gained 3 psi, well, I've got a lump of metal in my back tyre, so there we go bit of health and safety consumer advice don't rush out and buy a new rear tire just ride on it like it's not there don't do that obviously that's silly i'm going to replace my tire at the earliest possible opportunity uh, when i can afford it in a few weeks time lovely anyway thank you ever so much for watching sorry it's a bit short sorry it's a bit random sorry i didn't show you any of the actual fun riding stuff because uh, why would i do that and uh, i'll see you next time and i'll probably get the 360 camera out and make you feel sick with it um yes i'm tim Adam's behind me, don't know if you can see him, and uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and carry on having a good year. Bye!